welcome, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was an awkward hug. Sorry, miss. My fault. Bob will forgive you, sir. Are you okay? Good gracious me, what's happening in this town? <laughs> Whoa, look at that guy. Oh, help us all. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video, make sure you leave me a comment, and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. So we're uh, just going to head out and... See what happens. I forgot I was going to look at my outfit while I was in there. See if I could upgrade or personalize my character a little bit. Oh well, maybe next time. Okay, we're at Bonnie's ranch again. I miss Bonnie. haven't seen her in a while. Can we just stop in the house and say hello? Bonnie! Dang it. She locks her doors, guys. She doesn't trust me. Let's go. All right, back on the road. Maybe that's why I haven't seen any animals around here either. Bonnie's people killed them all. All the deer, all the rabbit. This place looks nice. Went out in the woods a bit. Oh wait, stranger. What brings you out this way? Well, that little question mark you got over your head. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's That's waiting sweet. for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together. 50 years now, wow. me and my darling Annabelle. She's always thought of these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to I wanna bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. That's sweet. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. I'd love it. So bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Okay. Too bad I've, uh, sold all my stuff. I'll keep an eye out for you, though. That's a good price. Come on.
I mean, I don't know what that was about. Nobody wanted to do that. I kind of wanted to do that. <laughs> So we got the fever few that we need. We just need to find the rest of the... Desert sage and all that stuff. Just the same as the other general store, right? See what we got then. Howdy, mister. See if your tastes be more refined than my other customers. <laughs> nope. We'll buy another one of these just okay. to have it in the uh Alright, let's see what you got for me then. So I've got the sage, I've got the fever few, I just need to go back and get the desert sage. Some rabbit meat for you too. That's what I've got for sale. Thank you kindly, Mister. This guy's actually got a nice little newspaper stand going for him here. Um, hello, sir. New one? Nope. One of these days, we'll find us a new one. I kind of want to play the liar's dice, too. Good gracious. Where's it coming from? I'm sorry, but that was an awkward hug. Sorry, miss. My fault. God will forgive you, sir. Are you okay? Good gracious me, what's happening in this town? <laughs> Whoa, look at that guy. Oh, help us all. All right, so I think Irish and my stranger are both in the saloon. And I really want to try out this liar's dice thing too. How you doing? Yeah, Mister. Good evening. I'm just no good. Dark That's all I am. Well, butter my butt. Where is he? Is he outside? No, that's Irish. Where's my stranger at? Maybe he's upstairs. I heard them rustles from Pike's base and we're heading in. Marshall was sure looking at well. Yeah, he's gotta be upstairs.
You okay, honey? Up, sister. Put them uh, up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Fly me. I've come to tell you. If you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Fine, buddy. A shame. A shame to know you. What's wrong with you robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. Yeah. So, uh, please excuse us. What are you ladies doing back here anyway? Now, Irish, that Gatlin gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. Sure you were. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Uh, Mother Mary. I really wanted to see the stranger before we got started on this one. How about a drink right. or two, Muska? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pretty and fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only mm -hmm. rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the you church has more money than anybody. Your brain gone, boss. Where are we going, Irish? Nobody that just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. Friend, I'm telling you, Johnny boy, now. it's all set up. Hey. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. <laughs> on your heels, buddy. That stutter said this would be open. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shaky's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. All right. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh. 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 Shaky, who are you working with? I, I, I don't know. Oh. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> I'll talk right. a little louder. Now all we have to do is fight out right outside the door. Quick. You hear me? Idiot. Shaky, you wretched son of a. Suck my hand! <laughs> oh. oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly. At an all time high. What are you waiting on? You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! 
<laughs> All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. Let's climb the ladders. All right. I would prefer to just go straight in the door and uh, blast the bejeebers out of them, but you know, whatever floats your boat. This is a stupid idea. Good thing this guy's deaf. So is everybody else in this building. Are they upstairs? I came down here for nothing. Yeah, it's probably all the way around the other side. But I jumped down here, so... Oh, he's right in this room. How do you switch shoulders? Don't even gonna let me loot the bodies after all that. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one fight. Let's head before the door. Follow me. Jeez. Shaggy? 
You're in the way, bud. You keep, you keep saying follow me, but then you're not going anywhere. You sure are. Where's Irish right, at? Let's that... get out of here while we got the chance. Stupid son of a gun. I'm gonna kill you, then rob you. Shaky. I got stuff to do. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Go on, you open the door. I I'll cover you. Yeah, I bet you will. You know what? No, let's do it. Let's go up here. Shaky. Shut your mouth. I hate doing these missions at night. Shoot me dead, guys. Yeah, Irish actually get taken out here. Well, come on then. I want my health re re restore a little bit. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. 
Oh, great. Oh my God. Yeah, you take care of it, would you? Bud, where are we going now? I guess that's it. Yeah. Now we're even. Off even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty snake. All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Five virgin ears. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the drama. <laughs> you should be. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Oh, boy. Here comes some people. They're coming after us! Shoot those I'm going to get to McFarland. Joyce, if somebody wants that ammunition, we will die. Oh, jeez. y'all did to make these guys so angry, but... Really? Well, I think you're ready for part master. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that okay. boy. After all <laughs> you put me through, it's time you pull the trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. I don't care none about that. As long as I can get back to Impressive my family, Marston. I'm good. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. All right, we are one step closer to going after Bill Williamson, which of course is the reason why we're doing all of this in the first place. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for hanging around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.